All right. Hey guys, it's Angel here today. And I wanted to create a new video to show you how to actually generate FAQ schema markup using Zimwriter. Now, of course, you can also use ChatGPT and some other GPT wrappers, but this is for those who have Zimwriter using their workflow and just want to look at it, use a prompt that will help them actually do this and create the FAQ schema. So what is FAQ schema to start? FAQ schema is a type of schema markup that helps search engines understand the questions and answers on a web page. It is structured data format that allows website owners to provide clear and concise answers to frequently asked questions on their website, making it easier for search engines to understand and display the information to search results. FAQ schema can enhance the visibility of your website and search engine results pages, which can ultimately lead to more traffic and conversions. That is the GPT version of what FAQ schema is. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more and go a little bit more in depth about schema markup in general, there's a ton of videos on YouTube for that. I'm going to get right into it, generating our FAQ schema for Zimwriter. So I'm going to work out of this notepad I have, or this obsidian file I have here as I go through this process. So we'll jump back into this in just a second. Now, this is the article I have, you know, how to stay cool while writing in your, how to stay cool while writing. Oh, wow your motorcycle, motorcycle in hot weather. So this is just a blog stating that, but also at the end, this was, this article was actually generated with Zimwriter using GPT-4. And I wanted to create the FAQ schema for my frequently asked questions down here at the bottom, right? So I don't have that currently. So how do we do that? So let's first jump into, let's see Zimwriter here. So I do have right now I'm on Zimwriter version 7.07. .07. This is the latest version as of the date of this recording. Let's take a look at some of my settings here. So I'm at, I am using GPT-4 as my default GPT model, advanced triggers. So right now I am using GPT-4 for magic commands and I'm using these settings. So nothing else specifically. I just have to disable URL scraping and magic commands. Just so in case I'm including any URLs and not accidentally scraping or crawling any URLs that I don't want to at the moment. So I, I turned that off just for my workflow, but it's probably on for you by default. So that's a quickly what I have now. Today, we're just gonna be using the magic command trigger. So control one in my case, which is the default trigger for the magic command for Zimwriter. And what I now wanna do is pretty much, what you wanna do is take an article that you have and that you generated at qu frequently asked questions. So the way I have this set up is, or the way Zimwriter, I should say, frequently asked questions here. The way Zimwriter sets this up is the frequently asked questions is an H2. Every question is an H3. And then the answer is just normal paragraph text. So every question here is another H3 and H3, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my FAQ section here, not the whole article, just your FAQs. I'm going to copy that and bring that into my text editor. You know, it could be Google Docs, Notepad, Notepad++. I like to use Obsidian because it it uses or can read Markdown, and that's how I prefer to work. So I have it pasted in here now. So what I want to do is generate FAQ schema for the frequently, frequently asked questions above. That's it. So generate FAQ schema for the frequently asked questions above. So I'm going to highlight this, my command, as well as all the FAQs right here. And then I'm going to hit control one, which is my magic command. Now this could take a couple minutes. So with the magic of video, I will cut through to where I generate the output, but be aware when you're taking a lot of this, this content like this, depending on how many FAQs you have, it could, it could take a little bit, right? So it's reading through all this selected text, and then it's going to generate the output. So it knows what FAQ schema is, right? This isn't a new concept. So the AI already knows what that is. So you don't need to train it on what FAQ schema is about, how to format it, things like that. You can tweak the formatting if it's not correct, but I found that most times when I've done this, the format has been correct in terms of the output and it passes validation. And I'll show you how to do that while this is, uh, after this is completed. All right, so that took about two minutes to complete. And if I make this a little bigger, just so we can view it a little bit easier. So you can see this is how it marked it out for me. Starting with the top, and you can see it was an estimated cost of eight cents, which is really nothing. And you see it has my FAQ page, FAQ type. We can run that through uh, the validator, the question, the name of the question, and the answer. And this is all copied from the, con the, the content that I pasted in here, right? So we're going to go ahead and highlight all this, copy. 
And what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to a new tab. You're going to go to schema validator. You can Google that, go to the schema markup validator. I'll link it in the description as well. We're going to hit code snippet. We're going to paste our code and run a test. So you can see it passed. So it's formatted properly, zero errors, zero warnings, FAQ page. It knows the entity type or the, the type of schema that we're using, right? This is all information documentation that the AI already knows about. So you can do this with multiple different schema types, FAQ, article, blog, live blogs, video, uh, video objects, things like that. And you can do this with a bunch. So FAQ easily. Then you also, I like to double check this too with uh, rich results tests. So this is Google's test. So just go to rich results test in search results. So I'll show you to get there. So rich results test It's usually going to be the first one here by Google, uh, similar test, except I want to make sure that Google can read the snippet as well. It should be able to. I like to just double test both of them. Sometimes they make you do a captcha here to verify if you're a human. There we go. One valid item detected FAQ schema. We can do a drop down. Don't worry about this unnamed item. That's a, a, a tool thing. It's not really specific to you doing something wrong. So yeah, they can see you have your FAQ, the question, the name, the t answer, and all the, the rest of them. So I got about one, two, three, four, five, about five question and answers here and you're ready to go. So now how do I get this on my page? Well, for WordPress is relatively simple. So if we come back to, well, I have it in my clipboard, come back and copy your code here, which should work just fine. What I'm going to do is come into, that's another page. Here we go. So come into a, your article here. So what I'm going to do is as I'm editing, I'm just going to add another block. And what I'm doing here is as I'm editing my post, I'm just adding or searching for custom HTML. And now it tells me to write in my HTML. So I'm actually going to paste in my JSON featured snippet here. And then I'm going to add the script tags around it. So the script tags are when I'm, I'm copying this from another post, I have it. So the script equals type application, JSON LD format. And I'm going to put this before, and then all at the bottom, I'm going to close the script on the new line. Just add this script, go ahead. I'm going to hit update. And now I'm going to go ahead and view this. So let's go ahead and preview in a tab. Great. That's the preview. I'm going to take the preview and view the live page here. And now I'm going to take the URL of this page, right? So I copied it. I know you can't see my address bar, but so I'm going to go down. This is the, the URL of this page, right? I'm going to copy this where I just updated my schema and I'm going to come into the schema validator again. Let's go back here and I'm going to fetch it through a URL. So I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to run my test. I want to make sure it's picking it up right. So I have a few different things here, right? I have my, my WP headers, creative work, site navigation element. These are just created by, I guess, the theme I'm using and the formatting of the actual page. You can see my FAQ page schema markup has been detected. No problems. So you can see that that's been picked up. Now, if we go to rich results test, I go back to a new test. I'm going to paste in the URL, the same thing here, and I'm going to test the URL again, validating that I added in this schema markup properly to the page and that it's being detected. Here we go. When item detected FAQ unnamed item, which is okay, but you can see it's being picked up through the URL, which is fine. View tested page. This is the screenshot. So we know it's rendering properly. The HTML, we know it's here in the HTML. There it goes here, actually right there in the section of our, our page. So that's good. So we know it's there. We can actually submit this URL for indexing and now Google will pick this up. So you can see it's relatively simple to use Zimwriter. You don't have to use chat GPT. You can do this right within your notepad or any of your text editors that you prefer. What I would actually say too, is if you want, you can actually copy this, this uh, command and let's go back into Zimwriter and go into, is it advanced triggers? We can actually paste it into a magic command here and save it. So we can say this is for FAQ schema, right? Assigned to trigger. You can assign it to a trigger if you want. So we can say this is always going to be assigned to control six if we wanted to, right? Control six, since I have some other ones assigned there, we can save it, right? So now all we would have to do next time is come back into, maybe let's create a new document here. Let's, let's go back and get a, another FAQ section from a, another post. Let me just make sure that's good, right? If we come back into our WordPress, we got another post here, tips for choosing. This is just like kind of a test website. I'll edit this. So I don't have FAQ for this one either. I don't believe, but I have FAQs on the page, right? 
So what I can do is I'll copy the FAQs for this article. Not too many in this one. This was all generated by Zim Writer as well. And let me go ahead and close this. And I'll come into this new file here, right? And I'll paste in, oops, not in the header. So let's undo that. More FAQ schema. And I'll actually paste it in here. So now all I have to do is now that I have my schema, FAQ schema command saved within Zimrider, I can just highlight all my FAQ schema that I want every time I have a chunk of FAQ schema. And now I'm hitting control six, pressing more keys. Am I? I don't think so. So now I'm pressing control six. I don't know what that error popped up. I think I might've held down control six for a little too long. So now it should be respecting the actual command I gave earlier instead of typing it out. I have it saved and assigned to a trigger. So now you can always do this for any section of FAQ content and create those schemas. You could actually create them right within WordPress, the post edit, if you want. I'm just doing it out of, you know, in Obsidian on a separate document editor or text editor, just so you guys can see it, how it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to complete. It should take another couple minutes. All right. So that again, took another couple minutes to format all our FAQs. So I'm going to copy this, it took another eight cents. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm going to come back into the new test code snippet. I'm going to paste this in, run my tests. That looks good. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to go ahead and do a new test code, right? just want to verify. Great. FAQ is being picked up. So now I'm going to come back to my post, do the same thing. HTML, custom, bring that in. Let me grab my script tag. I don't know why it doesn't add it by default. Maybe I, if I can tweak the prompt a little bit, it might do it, but it's not too much to add these here and I'll go ahead and update. And now I'll go ahead and preview the page. So let me preview the live page here. I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm going to test it. I'm going to do a new test. I'm just going to do it through a schema here. So it should be fine. We'll run that test and there goes our FAQs being picked up. No problem. So yeah, so there you go. You can do two ways, the manual way in terms of just writing out the command or save the command into your advanced triggers, which is you know pretty neat. You could always come back to it and assign it to other other commands or triggers, I should say. So yeah, hopefully this helps some of you and helps you, you know, speed up your workflow, add those extra rich results to your uh, current blog articles that you're continuing to write with Zimwriter. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and look out for the next video. Until then, take care guys.